Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to talk about yet another horrible, horrible Epic Game Store exclusive. Guys, you know I've been a little bit more lenient on the Epic Store exclusives than most people. I don't bring out the pitchforks immediately when every Epic Store exclusive is announced. I try to look at it from the lens of every side involved, and I know that a lot of you guys get upset with everyone, but this one is one to get really, really upset about because it's similar to what happened with the one game where it was crowdfunded and it was being promoted as a Steam release and now they go back on their word and now they're gonna release the game on the Epic Game Store. This is messed up and we'll be talking all about that in just a little bit, but I do also want to give you guys a heads up that I want to talk a little bit about Red Dead Redemption 2 and Rockstar developers listing that the game would be on PC and that they worked on the game for PC. I think it's a formality that RDR2 will be coming to PC at some point. The question remains, will that be an Epic Game Store exclusive as well? And part of me thinks, yeah, it absolutely will. So we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first up, let's talk about Outer Wilds. Now this this is a game that I'm not even super excited for. However, just the premise and notion of what this game is doing pisses me off so much. And this was done one time before, but it's not making it any better that this is becoming a regularity. So this game was crowdfunded by consumers that wanted to see this game come to fruition. And it was promoted that the game would be coming to Steam when people were backing the game. And now they put out a statement saying Outer Worlds will be released on Xbox One and PC via the Epic Game Store with additional platforms coming later. Rest assured that we read all of your comments and our goal is to bring the game to your preferred platform as quickly as possible. We will keep you up to date with the latest info here. Throughout the development of the game, we've welcomed partnerships with Xbox and Epic to support us and keep our small studio running long enough to ship the game at a level of quality that it is today. I don't really care in this case that it is a small studio. I've always said that if a smaller studio wants to team up with Epic Games to help bring their vision come to light, and if Epic wants to acquire games like that, fine. That's all good with me in actuality because these developers have a finite amount of resources, and if Epic Games can offer something to help make their vision become a reality, then that's all good with me. The problem is when these games are being promoted on Steam, and in this case, when you're taking money from the consumers to help kickstart this game, well, in this case, it was a fig crowdfunding, and you guys get the idea. That is such a problem because you're inherently getting funding on the notion that this game is going to come to Steam. That's a big reason why people would back it. Think about a game if from the get-go they told you, hey, we're making this game, we're launching a crowdfunding campaign, but it's going to be an Epic Game Store title. I guarantee you the resources that they accumulate is going to be far, far different than the game coming out on Steam. Now, we have no way of actually measuring that. That's just a hypothesis for me, but I think a lot of you guys would agree with that notion. Just think about it from your standpoint, and if you guys ever kickstarted or helped crowdfund a game, if a game from the get-go told you that it was going to be an Epic Store exclusive, would you have a different rationale in supporting that game and backing that game? I think you would, and I think a lot of people would. They did continue by saying, we greatly appreciate the support that you have given us over the years, even when we weren't able to share all of the details going on behind the scenes. We'll share an update on the release date soon. We thank you for sticking with us and we look forward to seeing you play Outer Wilds. I just don't see why Epic and the studio involved in the release of Outer Wilds would agree to something like this because this is so damaging to the game itself. It's so damaging to Epic as a brand and it's damaging to the crowdfunding campaigns as well. Crowdfunding campaigns in general, you're just not affecting the game itself. You're affecting all crowdfunding titles, games that are going to be attempted to be crowdfunded in the future because now you're implanting this idea that even if a game is promoted in one way, it can end up some other way. That is messed up, and the developers for Outer Wilds and Epic Games themselves need to be held accountable for something like this. Just don't work out an agreement like this. There are so many other games, so many other potential possibilities for Epic Games to acquire other titles. Why do you have to go after this one where people already invested their hard-earned money into the game expecting Steam keys, and now not only do you backstab them, you paint a bad picture for crowdfunded games in the future, because now this is two instances where this has happened. You're hurting other developers, you're hurting the consumer and you're hurting your brand as well. Is Outer Wilds gonna do that well from a commercial standpoint now? Probably not. Now, I don't know what the anticipation level was necessarily for Outer Wilds. This is a game that I heard about in the past, but it's not one that I was super invested into, so it's not right for me to act like this is gonna be damaging to my gaming experience forever, but it does paint a very, very dark picture in what we can see in the future. All for that, and even if you wanna acquire big budget titles like Borderlands 3, yes, that sucks for me, that sucks for a lot of people, 
that would like to play this game on Steam, but that's one thing. Then you take it up to another level once you're starting to promote games on Steam. Games like The Sinking City that were present on Steam. Games like The Outer Worlds. Outer Wilds and Outer Worlds are getting a little bit confused, but now both of those games are Epic Store exclusive, so figure that one out. But Outer Worlds was plastered all over Steam. It was getting a lot of inherent promotion off of that, and now you backstab Steam and you bring that game as an Epic Store exclusive, but then you have an instance like The Outer Wilds, and this is even one level higher where the game literally took money from the consumer and then they told you, oh no, this game is going to be an Epic Game Store exclusive at first. In the case of the Steam releases, if they were available to pre-order a game like Metro Exodus and you pre-ordered the game, in that case, you would at least still get the game on Steam. In the case of Outer Wilds, you're helping this game become reality. You're promised a Steam key and then they stab you in the back after the fact. This needs to stop and I gave you guys so much reason on why this is just so bad. Why even make an agreement like this? You're doing so much long-term damage to your brand and for the Epic Game Store is acquiring the Outer Wilds versus any other game, any other game with a modicum of interest. Is that going to make such a stark difference in how people perceive the Epic Game Store? In fact, getting Outer Wilds, I think, gives gamers an even more negative perception of the Epic Game Store. And so this is just a lose-lose-lose for every scenario that I can see imaginable. Maybe you can make the argument that, hey, the developer gets some upfront money that's going to be big for them, and I'm sure that's great. But is that upfront money better than the long-term damage that they've just done? Is that upfront money worth it to do the damage that you just did to all of the other games that in the future are going to look at crowdfunding as a way to get their games to life because now gamers are going to have that skepticism they're going to have that hesitancy that hey they promised me a steam key if i back this game but am i really going to get a steam key that thought has definitely been implanted in the back of gamers minds and it's just an unfortunate situation with a game like this all right, so that's my two cents on that. I'm very disappointed on that, but I do want to go over some positive news. Rockstar developers have listed Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC in their LinkedIn profiles. First, the Rockstar leads developer listed Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC on his LinkedIn page, and now a previous Rockstar Toronto physics designer did the same. We're not going to go into their names directly because who knows if they meant to post that and who knows if that was supposed to be kept under wraps, but I think that's even more so giving us some information that the game will be coming to PC at some point. I think all of us understand Rockstar's game and what they're trying to do with Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously, Red Dead Redemption 2 was a massive financial undertaking for Rockstar and Take-Two. They invested a lot of money in making this game come to reality, so now their idea is, hey, we're gonna sell this game to you as many times as possible. I'm sure that even though this is a PC-centric channel, comment down below how many of you guys have already bought Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, and then comment down below on how many of you guys will buy the game again on PC whenever it's released. Who knows? They might do the next generation version first, where they release the PlayStation 4 and next Xbox version, and then they'll bring out the PC version after that. That would really suck because next-gen consoles aren't going to come until holiday 2020, and I'm really not trying to wait that long for RDR2. The quicker I can play it on PC, the better that will be for me. However, the question now remains... Is this game going to be an Epic Games Store exclusive? And based on all the information I have, based on Epic Games track record, I absolutely think that this game won't necessarily be an Epic Games Store exclusive, but this game won't be coming out on Steam because Rockstar does have their own platform and Rockstar Social Club. I think this will be something like what Ubisoft has done in the past in that they'll release their game on the Epic Games Store. Nobody is going to buy the game on the Epic Games Store, but everybody is going to go to Uplay and buy the game there. I imagine that's what's going to happen with Red Dead Redemption 2, where the game won't release on Steam. It'll release on the Epic Games Store. Nobody's gonna buy it from the Epic Games Store. Rockstar and Take-Two get a bunch of upfront money from Epic Games and then they just release it on Social Club and then everybody just buys it from Social Club. That just seems like a win-win for them just like it was a win-win with Ubisoft and The Division 2. You're not even really helping out the Epic Games Store. This is just more of a scenario to spite Steam and be like, hey, look at how much money we have and look at what we can do to you. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate in that sense, but I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is the caliber of a game where people are gonna let that slide and be like, all right, we're just gonna go to Social Club and buy the game through there. Nobody is gonna really bother with the Epic Game Store like nobody bothered with the Epic Game Store to play The Division 2. And Rockstar and Take-Two are just gonna make even more money than they were already gonna make. And hopefully at some point, maybe a year after the Epic Game Store release, it does come to Steam because I think if you wanna create that residual revenue, that revenue that comes years down the line like they're doing with Grand Theft Auto V, I think it is paramount that the game does see a Steam release because whenever there's a Steam sale, man, those Rockstar games just shoot up as the top sellers and you really can't facilitate that if the game's not available on Steam. Yes, with the game being on Social Club, you can put the game on like the Humble Store, you can put the game on Green Man Gaming and all those other platforms, but there's another level of revenue that you can generate with the Steam sale, and I'm sure Rockstar is aware of that. 
And I think for Red Dead Redemption 2's long-term sake, that is something they're going to look at. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, Outer Wilds is an absolutely BS Epic Store exclusive. I really hope more instances like this doesn't happen in the future. If you're crowdfunding a game and you're promoting that you're going to give backers a Steam key, give them the Steam key. I don't care if you're a small studio. You got the funding. You got the backing. You owe it to the gamers to actually offer them Steam keys. And that's just my two cents, and it does look like RDR2 at some point will be coming to PC, but I do imagine it will be an Epic Store exclusive. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out